That's great, man. One of the wonderful things about spending a great deal of time in nature is the uh, surprises that come up along the way. This here was spotted by my friend Rich. This is a uh, North American wood turtle, otherwise known as a red-legged turtle, a sculptured tortoise, or red-legged tortoise. Uh, it contains pyramid-shaped scoots on the upper shell to identify it with black and yellow uh, bands. It has a black or gray head. It has orange legs, and it's usually found near water or wide rivers, shallow, clear streams with compact or sandy bottoms. Rarely do you see this very far from water. It spends about 50% of its time in water and 50% of its time on land. Now, the, the wood turtle diet consists of plants, mushrooms, earthworms, snails. Uh, it has a, a a unique talent in that they, they call it stomping. They'll pound their front legs on the ground and the vibrations will bring earthworms to the top which they feed on. The lifespan is about 40 to 50 years in the wild. They're very slow growing and they don't reach physical maturity until the age of 14 to 18 years old. As a result, these are a threatened species, a high at risk species because of the fact that they don't reach maturity for such a, a lengthy period of time and they uh, tend to lay a clutch of eggs, maybe eight, as much as eight to 20 eggs. Uh, they tend to, the females tend to, to have nesting sites that they return to each year. Sites just like this with sandy soil uh, that are high enough so that they can escape um, floods. They'll make a decoy nests and cover them with leaves. They'll uh, eventually lay their eggs in the spring. Uh, the, the babies will hatch in the fall. The, uh, the males tend to be larger. Now, this one's a male. This is probably about nine inches long. It has larger, larger um, claws on the bottom. It has a concave bottom underneath so that it can uh, get up on top of the carapace of the female. Uh, the females tend to mate with more than one male and they can store their sperm and as a result the clutches that the females lay at some point may contain DNA from several males. That's a good, uh, a good um, quality to have for uh, survival of the species. These are under extreme threat because of loss of habitat, because of people collecting them for pets. You should always leave a turtle where you find it. They don't have a great deal of range. Some turtles will only travel a yard a day. This one has a little bit greater range. This one can, can travel up to uh, 300 yards in a day, which doesn't seem like a lot, but for turtles it is. Um, they are very intelligent. They have homing, homing devices inside their head that people say are much like uh, intelligence of a rat. As you can see on the bottom here, this bottom has a uh, slight inward bend. That is another significant sign that it's a male because in order to mate they have to climb up on top of the shell of the female. Anyway, if you, if you see these turtles, leave them alone. Um, a lot of times people will pick up a turtle, think they want to make a pet, bring it home, then decide they don't want it as a pet, and then just go release it anywhere. You know, if, it, if it's a quarter of a mile from where you found it, it could be like going from, uh, going to a different country. They, they need the habitat that they're used to. They're there for a reason. Um, there are 300 species of turtles in the world. And in most cases, they're under extreme pressure because of slow reproductive rate, because of loss of habitat. Please be appreciative care for these animals, get to know them, take a picture, and uh, enjoy your open spaces. As you can see, he really blends in really well with the bottom. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this, and thank you very much for watching.